At age 60 and 177 pounds, Meg Evans of San Diego somehow has enough agility to play goalie for her amateur soccer team. She's been an athlete all her life, soccer player, swimmer, mother of four girls, and a person who grew heavier and heavier as the years went on. I did the curves diet and I lost 20 pounds on that, but then I, it's something that you have to stick to their exact menu. And it just wasn't me, it didn't work. I'd gain it back. Then a couple of years ago, her blood pressure shot up and she had to find a solution. And just a few miles away, 42-year-old Chris Dickerson had grown up as the pudgy kid, then became the fat guy, overweight his entire life. My grandmother's from Arkansas, and she taught my mother how to cook and, you know, fried taters, you know, pies, cakes. As a father, he was having difficulty even throwing a ball with his son. Being able to get out and do things with him, I was tired. I had no energy. His blood pressure was high, and he was afraid of developing diabetes. He had to do something, too. Both Chris and Meg were admitted to the blind testing for one of a new class of diet drugs developed by three California companies, for which there are huge hopes. A drug called Cunexa is a combination of the appetite suppressant Fentermin and an epilepsy drug that makes the patient feel fuller. Contrave is the combination of an appetite suppressant and a second drug that speeds weight loss. And the drug Lorcaserin is an entirely new medicine designed to switch off appetite in the brain and maintain metabolism. Is, is the weight loss pill one of the holy grails of the medical profession? Correct. All the medical problems, diabetes, heart problems, are all related to weight. So if somehow we can get weight down, we correct six to ten other major problems in the U.S. The general estimate is that two-thirds of the American population is overweight and a third is actually obese, fat, and headed for serious trouble. Obesity is a chronic disease and we need to think about chronic medication for it. Meg and Chris say they really didn't feel much of anything as they began to take the drug. I really thought I was on the placebo for a long time because I didn't have any side effects. I didn't really realize that I didn't have any hunger pains. It gives you that full feeling instead of, you know, hey, you got to clean your plate every time. Going back to those days in nature when food was scarce and you had to chase it, the body has mechanisms to prevent weight loss. If we took your weight up 100 pounds and you lost just 15 or 20 pounds, after that, your body would stop the weight loss. It would lower your metabolism. It would make you think about food. That's really hard to beat. In a world in which people are nourished on an excess of food and piling on pounds, some doctors and researchers say it isn't so simple as the old advice, diet and exercise. Ask Meg and Chris. Well, I never ate wisely. I love my food. I love to cook. Um, that's me. And you so, just you couldn't get yourself to eat wisely? No, no. I, I wasn't trained to really. Most diet drugs have not worked well, and some have been dangerous. Fenfen was taken off the market because it caused heart disease, and another drug failed FDA approval because it caused depression and suicidal tendencies. The problem is if you start throwing multiple levers that regulate chemical pathways in the brain, there's a pretty good chance you're going to reap the whirlwind. Down, set, hit. They say you have to do the hard work of diet and exercise. And in fact, both Chris Dickerson and Meg Evans changed either what they ate or how much and they started to exercise. We have evolved into a quick fix, active ingredient, silver bullet kind of society. So you know, many people would rather wait for a wonder drug to come along to fix their, their weight control issues. An effective diet pill will make it possible for some patients to keep stuffing themselves and lose weight too. But researchers and drug manufacturers are in the business of making wonder drugs, the silver bullet. Americans already spend $35 billion a year on losing weight. For the drug industry, cracking weight loss is the next big thing. Safe and successful weight loss drugs stand to make billions and billions of dollars in a market starving for a solution. Every day, patients come to my office and ask for help to, um, in getting them to lose weight. Cunexa, the drug she gave patients in the study, reports an average weight loss of 14.7% in one year. Contra reports an average loss of between 8.1 and 11.5 percent in their trials, and Lorcaserin, 8 percent of body weight. Our market research shows that 
Laura Kasser, and will be very successful to address the biggest need uh, for this market, which is to allow patients to lose weight in a safe fashion and keep the weight off over a long period of time. And that's, that's really what patients and doctors are looking for. And chances are, once people are on these drugs, they may be on them for years, maybe even some for life. You can't just start it, expect to get a kickstart, and the weight comes down and you can stop it. A lot of these medications for people who are seriously overweight are long-term medications, just like blood pressure, just like cholesterol. In their studies, none of the drug developers have reported serious side effects, and side effects are the Achilles heel of any drugs. Meg and Chris were part of the study for Cunexa, the drug that reports the most dramatic results. Meg's life is changing. Her blood pressure is down, her athlete's knees don't hurt as much, and here is the chart of her weight loss. 232 pounds down to 177. But absent drugs, it was near to impossible for you? Oh, yeah. And yeah, why do you I, think that is? I don't know. I, I suppose I would just get too hungry. I suppose I'd, I was, your body gets used to that same amount of food and it just yells at you and I obey my body. <laughs> And Chris Dickerson's weight loss in the Conexa study, 343 pounds down to 270 and still dropping. Jump! Jump! Life Jump. is better. At home on the trampoline with the kids, he never would have done that at 343 pounds. It takes someone who wants to change your life, too, to, to do the right thing. you got to want to make the change yourself, too. So getting to enjoy life now is the big, the big change. So, and this right here. All of these drugs still need FDA approval. They're at least a year from being prescribed by your doctor. But we may just be on the verge of being able to have our cake and lose weight, too. This is Brian Rooney for Nightline in San Diego.